showing you taking off my wrap where I just deep conditioned my hair for an hour this is my shea butter mix um, if you want to see the video for that how to make that then check out the description box so I'm applying it all over my hair um, I already have a leave-in which is my deep conditioner I don't rinse it out I always leave it in and I'm just sealing in the moisture with this uh, shea butter butter mix which of course has shea butter coconut oil and other essential oils in it to help lock in my moisture. This is the best thing I've ever put in my hair to help keep my hair healthy and moisturized. So I'm just making sure that it's thoroughly in my hair, making sure it's on every strand. Um, just using my tangle teaser here to just make sure it's in there and also just to further detangle it to make um, putting this hair in a ponytail easier. So now um, I'm going to take my Eagle Styler gel. Actually, sorry, not Eagle Styler. I'm gonna take my Camille Rose um, it's kind of like similar to Kinky Curly Curling Custard, um, it's a little bit lighter. So I used this because I didn't want a lot of hold, I wanted my hair just to look really fluffy, but I wanted a lot of slip to make it easy to put my hair into a ponytail. My hair has gotten so thick, it's like super hard to get my hair into a ponytail now, so I have to detangle it and apply the product in sections in order to just to do a ponytail now. So I'm applying this Camille Rose uh, gel um, into my hair. Um, in the back section and I'm gonna just thoroughly work it in and um, you see I'm detangling it here so just to get the girls the curls popping and yeah that's pretty much what this is um, I'm calling this an elongated ponytail because um, if you put your hair in a regular ponytail my hair will look super short it will li literally look like a little puffball um, because of my shrinkage and well yeah mostly because of my shrinkage but the banana clip that I'm using, that you'll see me using in a second, um, allows for the hair to st the hair by your nape to stay low, and then the hair by your crown to stay high. So it gives the illusion that your ponytail looks longer. And I've, I've always done the style. I did the style a lot when I was in college um, to give my ponytail a longer effect. I didn't have as much shrinkage in college, but um, I discovered it in college, and I was like, "Wow, this is this ponytail is great." So, yeah, I'm just showing you guys. How I do it so this is the Eco Style gel and I'm just putting this mostly on my edges just to keep my edges really flat and smooth and so yeah so this is what I'm applying to the edges and then uh, I had this this um, went in a clip for since college the one that I'm about to show you the black one and it broke this is how thick my hair has gotten I used to be able to put my hair in this banana clip very easily and it took me several tries to try to get my hair into this banana clip and it just popped on me so I had to throw it out luckily my mom had a banana clip that was older and I think better quality and I was able to yeah, see here I, I popped it it was very sad um, so this is my mom's banana clip and I just put it in my hair to um, you'll see how I keep the nape the hair at the nape low and then I, you put the hair at the crown very high so you see how it's stretched out across my head so it gives this elongated ponytail look and unless you're like all up in my hair you can't tell that it's a banana clip it just looks like I have a really long ponytail and yeah I'm just smoothing out the edges with Eco Styler gel just to keep it flat and I'm just gonna brush it and that's pretty much all there is to it it's a great style just to keep your hair out your face during the summer months and it's really hot and your hair is just frizzing out and all that. It was I kept this style in for like 10 to 11 days. And I almost never keep my hair in one particular style more than a week. So yeah, that's the end. I hope you enjoy it.